what's up guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video first of all how are you guys doing i hope everybody is having a good day so far so i actually woke up early in the morning and i wanted to just play with makeup so for today's video i wanted to create a full face um like makeup tutorial just using nothing over kind of 15 dollars most of or should i say almost yeah probably 100 percent of the stuff will be drugstore or adjacent um to drugstore prices so but yeah guys that's what i have for you guys today don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already and hit that notification bell on so you will never miss an upload and without further ado let's just get into this makeup tutorial let's go all right guys so i started off with my brows already done and i also primed my lids just to save some time i went in with this elf eye primer this this one is actually really good it's like a dupe for the urban decay primer portion it's really good so for eyeshadows today i actually was digging through my collection and i completely forgot that i have so many of these um bite-sized eyeshadows that i'm like you know what i haven't played with them ever and i think i haven't played with this one is cream and sugar and i have the chocolate mint palette so these are only three dollars each which is an amazing price for these palettes and on top of that they're super pigmented they blend they, they're just really good child really good i wanted to include some super shock shadows from ColourPop. i have the shade frog and i also have the shade short Ting. So we're gonna start off with this by size um, palette. This one is cream and sugar This is what it looks like. It's really pretty really everyday neutral um, little palette So I'm gonna start off with the darkest shade right here And I'm gonna place that on the outer V and the inner corner of my eye So I'm gonna take this elf blending brush and I'm gonna go into to the darker shade And I'm gonna pack that on the outer V Packing the color upwards, just like that. Just concentrating it. Three dollars for a pigment like that. You can't complain, child. You can't complain, child. So I'm just patting this here into place. And then we're gonna go and blend it out with a kind of more like caramelly color. And of course, we're just gonna do it on the other eye. For the inner corners, I'm going to take this Morphe M456 brush, and again, I'm going to go right into the dark brown, press that, just like that, and I believe this is a trust process type thing because, lord, this looks a little crazy, take some in my other eye, I'm going to do the same exact thing. So with a clean brush, I'm just gonna go around it softly and kind of like blend these edges out just a little bit. All right, so let's blend this out now. So I wanna take, I'm gonna go in with this little shade right here, which is a couple of shades, um, or should I say more than a couple of shades, um, brighter. because I also want to go in with another shade and blend this out. I'm going to take this one right here from the Cream and Sugars palette with another M506 brush. And this is super, super light. So I just want to diffuse any hard edges and kind of brighten this up just a little bit more. So this looks pretty good. Um, it looks a little crazy, but whatever. I might even do a wing, I don't know. But I wanna try the Super Shark Shadow. So I, like I said, I have this little minty green one and I also have the silvery one. So, hmm. So I'll let, I'm gonna do the green one first and then I'm gonna hit it with the silver on top. So I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go in the first shade. Again, this is the green one called Short Ting. And I'm just gonna Pop it right in the middle. That's pretty. Okay, that's pretty. And do it on the other eye again. All right, so now I'm gonna take Frog, which is a little silver pinky one. I'm just gonna take a little bit and just really, just really pat, like just tap it. Ooh. Oh my God, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. 
Okay. Yep, that's what I'm talking about, homie. So I'm gonna go back into the M4506 that I took the little brown shade and I'm with no extra product, I'm just gonna go and blend the edges out. So let me do a little wing and I'll be right back. So for mascara, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. That's what it looks like. And I'm gonna coat my lashes. Moving on to lashes. So I have these right here. These are the Kiss Mint Effect, Mint Effect Collection. But I have the style Audacious, which are right here. So I'm gonna pop these babies on. All right, so lashes are on. I'm telling you, there's nothing better that when you put your lashes on, can't nobody tell you nothing. So moving on to the face, I'm actually excited because I actually repurchased one of my favorite and first foundations that I've ever used. I'm talking about this baby. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. I am in the shade 120. Five. This used to be literally all I used. For primer, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. This is literally one of my favorites. Oh. Right, so to brighten these dark circles a little bit, I'm gonna go in with my Supercharged um, Milani Brightening Under Eye Tint. This one is in 120 Peach. I use this all the time when it comes to me doing my foundation. I actually wear this to work without any foundation. So I'll put a little bit and then I blend it out with like a brush or a sponge and then I set it lightly, just slightly set it with some translucent powder just so, cause sometimes child, I'll be looking like a zombie. So now for foundation, the only thing I don't like about this foundation is actually it doesn't have a pump. So you kind of have to like, eyeball it i'm gonna blend it out with my elf dual complexion brush which is literally my favorite brush to blend foundation all right so foundation is on i'm telling you this is like and that was probably a pump maybe a pump in a little tiny bit more but mm. This is so good. And the reason why I love this foundation too is one, I think it's the best match ever. I don't feel like I have to set it with powder. It's just, I don't know, like it's amazing. I'm, I love this thing, like literally holy grail foundation. So for concealer guys, I'm gonna go right back to my baby. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is in the shade Light Sand. This is literally, as you can see, I'm almost done with it because I, oh child, when I tell you this has been, the best concealer, at least for me, it is just so hydrating, so good to the to my under eyes. Like, so I'm gonna blend it with my camel sponge, of course. All right, so to set my under eyes and my T-zone, I'm gonna go in with the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder, guys. Oh my god. You know what's funny? I haven't used it in a very long time and it's because I've been loving my Maybelline Lasting Fix one. Oh my god, this one. Oh, I just don't want to waste it because I don't want to keep using the same thing, of course. So I'm going to take this big fluffy brush and I'm just going to pack that on. Blend it out under here. Okay, moving on to bronzer, guys. I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. This one is for Forever Sunkiss. This bronzer, oh, when I tell you, I'm surprised I haven't hit pan because I used to use it all the time. Like every makeup tutorial, every time I wanted to just wear makeup, I used to just wear it and I'm like, oh my God, I love this. Like, love it. See that? Like, I don't know if you can see it, but ooh. I'm a type of person I don't like heavy, heavy bronzer. I really don't. Um, I just like, you know, a little sun kiss. Hence the name Forever Sun Kiss, right? But I like something not too crazy. Like, I don't like to just have that, like, contour type of thing. Like, I don't know. And moving on to blush. I think it's, blush has become one of my favorite steps in my complexion. 
So I'm gonna go in with another goodie that I have not used in a very long time as well. This one is the Powder Blush um, from Milani. This is the In Blossom Time Rose. Oh my God, I love this. Look at it. Oh my God, look how pretty it is. And yes, it has a little shimmer type of thing to it, which I don't mind. I'm gonna take my Morphe Stipple Brush and I'm just gonna go in here, right? I literally just stipple this in. Oh, come on. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Like, can't nobody tell me nothing. And I think it's so subtle. I don't think it's like a crazy, crazy blush. All right, that was cute. So now we're gonna move into highlighter. Okay, so another item that I have not played with in a very long time as well. I know, I know you guys are probably like, all right, we know you haven't played with them in a while. But for real, I really haven't. Like, ugh. And when I tell you this used to be the only highlighter that I cared for, literally. So this is a Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Golden Flower Crown. This was that girl for me back in the day. And I just feel like it makes your skin look so wet. Like, oh my God. Let's go back and finish these eyes. So I, I think I kind of want to mimic what's um, on top of here, down here. So obviously we're going to go in with the chocolate mint palette. I'm going to go into this little brown thing shade right there. And I'm just going to trace that right here and then right in the, in the inner corner and of course we're gonna leave the middle vacant let's say now let me see if i could do this child because i don't want to mess my eye look up so i'm gonna go in with my finger first right so i'm gonna take a little bit of the green and i'm just gonna Ooh, that looks cute okay okay So now I'm going to take the brush and I'm just going to blend that. Everything could look kind of cohesive. And bam, ooh, I'm not going to lie, this looks cute. All right, so for eyeliner, I'm, I'm thinking about putting this um, gel liner from ColourPop. It's like a nice green. Oh, okay, that looks cute. You can't really... I don't know if you could tell, but... Okay, so now I wanna put something in the inner corner. So I'm thinking about maybe going into like the mint collection, cause it's green obviously to play off with that. Um, I don't know. Hmm. So I'm gonna go right back into the chocolate, mint chocolate, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna take this green right here. Then I'm gonna spray the brush and I'm gonna just pop this. Right in my inner corner, my inner tear duct. Ooh, that is pretty, the house, okay. All right, so inner corners is done. Oh my God, I am so in love with this look. Like, I would have never thought, but I am really in love with this look. Okay, so for lips, I wanna go in with like a nice dark, not super dark brown, but a kind of like a dark brown. I'm gonna go in with these. So this is the BFF um, BH Cosmetics Alyssa and Alondra collaboration. So this is a liquid lipstick and a lip gloss. So the liquid lipstick is in camel, and then this one is stick with you. And then to outline my lips, I'm gonna take this Elf Retro Paradise um, lip liner, which is like a nice little deep brown. And I'm gonna outline my lips, wish me luck. All right, so I'm gonna take the liquid lipstick. Again, this is the shade or the color camel. lip gloss I'm gonna go in with the say stick with you that's a pretty color all right and to seal the deal to finally lock this in place I'm gonna take the Morphe continuous setting mist and we're gonna just Hey guys so yeah this is the final look this is the end of the video I am so freaking like who who is that like 
What I'm really, really happy about is my eyeshadow. I'm happy that I st stepped out of my comfort zone and didn't do the classic eye look that I usually do, that I'm comfortable doing, and I decided to try something new, and you know what's crazy? I always wanted to do a halo eye, and I feel like this is kind of a halo eye-ish, but yeah, this is fire. Like, I, I love these, I mean, if you know, you know. I love these tones. I love earthy, green, brown, like the lip. Um, I wish the lip was a little bit more like darker, but it's fine. I'll deal with it, whatever. <laughs> But overall, guys, I'm super happy. As you can see, you don't have to spend that much money to actually create something so bomb. You could look bougie and banging on a budget. You know, makeup is expensive, child. Makeup is expensive. I mean, I should know. But as you can see, like I said, you don't have to spend that much money. And the drugstore are amazing. Check out these palettes from e.l.f. I'm telling you, as you can see, they are crazy pigmented, so good to blend. Also, the Super Shark shadows are amazing. I'm just really happy with this whole look. So, again, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for coming back and hanging out with your boy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like I said, if you haven't already, and follow me on my social media, which is makeup with underscore Chris, spelled C-R-I-S-S both on instagram and tiktok which i will be uploading a couple of videos on tiktok so see me there but yeah guys i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> bye bye guys uh -huh.